I'm here with Mr. Carlo and um, in uh, Teacher's Day, doing um, behind the scenes and in front of the camera. So tell us about it. Uh, Jared, Jared wanted me. I'm like a really good at with my hands. I'm like an artist that can visualize something in my mind and making something. So he, had, he asked me if I could make some things for him. And he bought an electric knife and he wanted to use this knife in, in the movie, but not hurt anybody. So he said, can you take this knife and this plate and make it look real, but not so it would hurt anybody? So he gave me in. I had it for a couple of weeks and I, I made this fake knife that hooked right in just like the other one. So it looked exactly, so that way when they went to the killing thing, they weren't going to really hurt anybody. You know? A real movie with real gore? Oh my god. Yeah, but um, so I did that and then I also made the mailbox. The one that the guy used to stab the girls with. Okay, well I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty good film and then I was the creepy janitor in it actually. My job was to walk by and creep out these two girls standing at this ball, so it was it was sort of fun. Okay, how did you meet you? I knew Jared from Coney Island. I used to work there at the Coney Island Freak Show, and he used to come by there. My uncle, he's Scott Baker, the ballet master of Coney Island. He's a really famous actor, too. And I, he, he had me come out there for many years, and I used to help out, and I'd either work at their show, or I'd work, there'd always be different shows. And I would work at different shows. So that year I got slated to work for the show called The World's Strangest Girl Show. So Jared came in, and my boss was really bad about not letting people come in and take videos. But I'm a performer. I need, I need, I need stuff. So I let Jared come in because he was really nice. He came in and shot a video, and to this day I use that video. Right. So and then he, uh, then we got together, and then there was some trouble there with the landlord there and my boss. So they lost their lease or something, and I was really bummed out there for a while. And Jared came by one day and drank, I had some beer with, with him and we talked about stuff and then he said he compiled this stuff together, material, and he's going to, and I was telling him about Meet the Freaks. Hey, let's shoot a film called Meet the Freaks. And so he put it together. Right? So, and then and it was really cool and then he moved out here and I'm from here. I'm a native. So I'm, I was born and raised in Southern California. That's why I'm wearing blue. But anyways, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm only playing. But it just had to be a little, little light on that. And uh, so um, I'm a performer. It goes in my family. Like I'm a fifth generation circus performer. Um, my cousin was William Holden, the movie star. And my father's mother and William Holden's mother were sisters. Right, that's why I, li I look a lot like him. He used to uh, babysit me when I was a child, and uh, I saw it all. Uh, yeah, I saw it all. So, are you going to be in Carnegie Girls? Uh, well, uh, he wanted me to be in Carnegie Girls, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I don't know, but um, it was sort of his idea, my idea, and also uh, Adam Trash's idea, but. I might have to go on the road this year because uh, I can make a lot more money working for Ring Ringling Brothers, Parliament, Bailey Circus as the ringmaster. So, so it's like, but uh, I might be around. Yeah, maybe you can take them. Well, I got like I can get like the guy that um, uh, that's the man, uh, that's the director of the CIA in uh, North Hollywood. It's called the California Institute for Abnormalities. It's a sideshow. Like the big really? show at Venice, except you go inside and he would let this guy film in there fast. Oh, okay. Right, and that's like, hey, it's free. <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope him that you can be a part of this. Yeah, I hope so too. You know. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by. You've been a really great. Well, I get to finally see this beautiful woman <laughs> all over these. I want a bikini magazine calendar with your signature on it. What am I getting? How can I go about getting you one of your calendars? Oh, if I had known, I would have brought one tonight. Yeah. Well, okay, when we film, come to go. Okay. Okay. okay.